This enormous bowl-like structure is the world's largest single-dish radio telescope. It's known as the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Telescope, or FAST for short. On Sunday, it began its search for signals from stars and galaxies, including signs of alien civilization. In the process, it became the latest and biggest marker of China's ambition to be a world player in science. The first goal of FAST is to discover the law of the universe, or the law of celestial bodies' formation, evolution, and movements. In principle, if alien civilizations do exist, their communication signals may be similar with the ones received from pulsars. These types of telescopes work by bouncing radio waves from the cosmos off the dish and into a receiver. The data collected is used to study how galaxies and the universe evolved. Uh, one is to study the radiation from the simplest element in the universe, which is hydrogen. The second big thing is pulsars and things going bang in the sky. Construction of the telescope began in 2011. It is made up of 4,450 triangular panels that can be rearranged using hydraulics to focus on specific areas of space. State media says FAST has double the sensitivity and can survey information five to ten times faster than the world's second largest radio telescope, the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico. When everyone is focusing their attention on how grand a structure is, what's most impressive about FAST is its position. You have to reach this level of precision on this level of scale at a stipulated time. And this is what's really difficult to achieve. The telescope is the latest in a string of high-profile scientific research projects China has introduced in the past year. The country launched the Tiangong-2, its second space lab, earlier this month. In August, it deployed the world's first quantum communication satellite to test the possibility of a global hack-proof communications network. State media pegged the total cost of the new telescope at a surprisingly affordable $180 million. Researchers chose this location in southwestern China's rugged Guizhou province because of its size and shape, and because the mountains help block out radio noise. The government had to move thousands of villagers to make way for the project, spending roughly $270 million to relocate them. State media said tourists can pay roughly $55 to view the telescope from a nearby mountaintop observation deck. Plans call for a $1.8 billion tourism park to be built in the area, including a 5,000 square meter planetarium. China says it intends for the project to be collaborative, and that scientists from around the world will be invited to study the findings. Some critics have questioned China's scientific approach, saying the country favors flashy hardware over substantive research. But at least in the search for alien life, the two go hand in hand. Bigger is better in radio astronomy. The signals in radio astronomy are so weak that you need big telescopes to see it. It's man's curiosity. It's fundamental physics. We want to understand how this universe which we live in is put together.